to a song that I wish I could play for you guys, but it's it's by the band Camino, and the song is called My Thoughts on You. Now, this song was actually a sad song for me a while ago. I'd say like over two years ago, it was a really sad song for me. It was right after my, my bad breakup, and I heard that, I, I, obviously when you go through something horrible in your life that you deem horrible, um, all these songs come out of nowhere, you're like, oh my god, where'd this song come from? Oh my god, this song makes, puts me in the field. Uh, <coughs> but yes. So that song had me in my fields and thinking about my ex, and I was always going through just a roller coaster of emotions. And now, I, I'm listening to the song and I'm just, it just makes me happy because that song was there. That song was there for me when I needed it the most which is weird to say because it's a song talking about your ex and how she made you feel and now it makes me smile but you know what it helped it did it helped me go through emotions because sometimes you, that's exactly what we need to do we don't need to shut off we need to let that shit flow we just need to go through the motions so yeah actually that might be my blog post later on this week on that song because I, I wrote a blog post about that song, so I'll probably post what I wrote about that song, and then I'll do the rewrite. Woo! It'll be the before and after. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and yes, I am in Big Booty Betty. She is up and running. I decided to drive her to work because I haven't driven her since I got her back from the shop, and that was over a week ago. So, that was like two weeks ago. I haven't driven her. So, it's time. She's gotta move. And she's driving like a champ. I love it. The AC works. Uh, everything's going well. So, more to follow later. Have a good day, guys. So I actually meant to film something the other day, but I didn't. I don't know what happened, to be honest. I just got busy at work, but this is day two. I'm wearing a different tie today, different shirt, different shade. I think they're, yeah, yeah. I wasn't wearing these shades yesterday. Uh, but I'm trying to do the whole minimalist thing, so I'm wearing like the same slacks. Eventually, I want to get rid of my dress wardrobe and um, bring it down to one suit. All black suit. All black. Like John Wick style. All black. My assassin suit. <laughs> but now I'm currently in Montclair, California at the Arthur Murray studio that my franchisee purchased not too long ago. And we, kind of, we come to the studio to hopefully build up the clientele here and get this studio booming. And this is my tide. Take it out of the way. <laughs> um, that's, yeah, that's, that's all I'm here for. I'm here to help out. There's not, there's not a big student body here at all maybe there's there were two instructors here already uh but they're only here like two days a week so it's kind of funny um and yeah so i i know walt disney came up with his whole mastermind idea during a recession i don't know how how long it took for his idea to boom after that recession or during that recession but we're in a pandemic which kind of feels like a recession I guess so but at least in a recession you can still touch people because we're dancers you know we kind of put our hands on our students to help them do certain things <laughs> So I know there's a lot of virtual learning going on nowadays, which is very difficult. Because now they talked about teaching movement through virtual lessons instead of teaching them how to do steps, which is like, wait a minute, steps are literally our core, uh, core learning. So it's where our core learning comes from where our syllabus 
Like our syllabus is based off of steps. We have a syllabus of bronze, silver, gold. They are steps that we need to teach in order to follow the syllabus. Now you tell me, hey, no, now we're switching entirely to virtual learning. And instead of teaching steps, we, we teach movement, we teach rhythmicality. Okay, for how long? That's a, that's a short-term fix, you know? And how long am I going to continue to charge people $150 in order to teach movement, rhythmicality, and to balance on their own? Like, how, how, for how long am I supposed to do that for? It's ballroom. Two people coming together, learn to dance. Could be a couple, could be a single person, but either way, there are two people dancing on the floor, holding hands, touching in close contact, less than a foot away. And with body contact, your ribcage, my ribcage, boom. For how long am I gonna teach other things besides what I'm meant to teach? It becomes very difficult. And hard for me to want to teach that for the price that we charge. It makes it hard morally. Now at my studio, we don't really do virtual lessons because well, uh, someone said, if you don't believe in something, it's not gonna work. And you're right, we don't believe in doing virtual lessons. We wear masks, we wash our hands and sanitize, you know, we make sure to wipe down things. And we, we're not telling you to come here, we're not telling you that we're not doing these things. We tell you we're doing these things and uh, we leave it up to you, the consumer to want to come in and take the lessons. Uh, and then it's also up to you whether or not you feel safe after that. But as many of you may know, I am going to be going on a road trip in March and that road trip is most likely going to be the end of ballroom for, not ballroom, end of Arthur Murray. I work for Arthur Murray. So it'll be the end of Arthur Murray for me. <laughs> And where my journey goes after that, not entirely sure. Hopefully writing. Writing, still dancing. I'm just never gonna stop dancing. I'm still gonna keep learning. Uh, I'm still gonna continue teaching as well, but it's gonna be more so on the fly. Um, it's been very hard. It's been very difficult to manage I'm gonna say balance, writing, fitness, work, social life. You know, because I, I, I thrive on having a social life. And when I don't have a social life, it's kind of weird. And at the same time, I also, I, I could thrive without a social life. But I need a partner. I need someone there with me who's going to motivate me as someone to f someone's energy to feed off of someone whose goals are kind of on track with mine <laughs> that's that's the kind of thing that I need that that would supplement my social life my, my social interaction but more to follow I'll talk to you guys later on thanks for listening What's up, guys? So someone said something to me the other day. They're like, oh, well, I asked them, do you take Google Pay here? And she was confused. I was getting food. And she said, you mean contactless? And I was like, wait, what? They, we, we're calling it contactless payment now? Because before, we would always ask for, like, Google Pay, Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, uh, any type of phone payment. Now it's contactless. It is contactless pay now. I did not know that. 
But the point of me bringing up contactless payments is because I just did it at the gas pump right now. And it's pretty cool because, um, yeah, I really like the contactless payment system going on at all venues now because I just bloop. Granted, for there are some people out there that will say, oh, but it's not very safe. You know, someone could steal your information and whatnot. Well, hopefully no one does. I'm not rich. Uh, I live in a van. That doesn't mean I'm not rich, but I'm really not. <laughs> so if you steal my information, I mean, you're not going to get a lot of money. And it'd be fucked up for stealing my money. But... I've also recently switched over to using my credit card. Now, unfortunately, like I'm having issues with my card right now. I I'm pretty sure this is maybe just something everyone goes through. You pay, I'm paying off my balance, but then it, it's not uh, showing the proper amount of available credit that I have. Like it's not updating itself, so it's kind of frustrating. I'm like, oh, I know I have money that I can use on my credit card because I keep paying it off. But it's not showing that. So it's, it's frustrating. It's a little frustrating. But, oh well. I know I have money in there. Blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm using my credit card. Now, the reason why I say this is because someone told me a while ago that they said, I don't pay for anything with my debit card. I use credit cards for literally everything um and he said because what happens when you lose your money like when someone steals your money you can't get that money back i mean it's gone you know that it was your money you know now with a, with a credit card you can think of it as um like well, one it's not your money so it's technically someone else's money that you're using. Granted, we do pay for it, but think of it as if we're paying for insurance on our money. If someone hacks into my credit card and steals my money and I say, that wasn't me, they're going to reimburse me. Granted, they're going to do a little bit of investigation and stuff like that, but it wasn't my money that was stolen, so I'm going to get it back. I didn't lose that money. So that's pretty cool. Other than that, uh, yeah, I like contactless payments. All right, that was weird. Okay, I'm probably gonna post this video. So this is like day three of uh, of the video right now. So day one, I was supposed to do some stuff, then got tired. Day two, I was gonna do some stuff, but just I stayed really late with my with my bosses and talking about work. So nothing got done there. I just came back, parked the van, watched a YouTube video, and went to sleep. Now here I am this morning, filling up my gas tank, and now I'm gonna head to around the area where my place of business is and get the workday started. So I hope you have a great day. Thank you for tuning into this video. And if you like me or my content, which it will get better over time but right now i'm using my phone and i suck at editing on the phone and uh, yeah it will get better but if you like it give me a thumbs up and if you like it even more subscribe love you guys <coughs> bye <laughs>